So early on in my hike, I learned how to tie my, or roll up my bear rope so it doesn't get tangled in my bag during the day. So basically, I put it in my hand like this, and I crisscross it, I'll show you. In my thumb and my pinky finger, I'll just crisscross it, and then it starts looking like this, and you just keep, you, you wanna make, try to make it as big as possible, your hand, and uh, you don't have to tie it or anything, just put it in the bag, and then when I get to, um, camp and I need to use it, it's not tangled. If you just roll it up some other way, it'll have to like untangle the whole thing. So this works out really well. Looks like this when it's done and just throw it in the bag, just pull it off. Look at that sunset right there. Just crossing this, I'll show it for another sec. Crossing the bridge right now into Duncannon, Pennsylvania. The town goes right through it. This is the the Doyle Hotel, Duncannon, Pennsylvania. It's a very old style hotel. Very run down, but it's a cheap room. You can get your own private room for 25 bucks. It's neat. It's a classic hiker stop. <laughs> this is the room here. And as you can see, it, it's old. It's, it's a decent sized bed, actually. You know, it's the light, it's got a closet, cool little heater thing, fan, chair, old dresser. It's got one of these things you can open like this. So, the Doyle, it's, uh, it's, it's what, uh, 112 years old, but it's everything a hiker needs. There's a restaurant bar right downstairs, but everyone's been very nice here, very helpful, great staff. This is the privy at Darlington Shelter in Pennsylvania, and it's known as the Taj Mahal Privy. Let's find out why. All right, so as we open it, the door is attached to this weighted bucket here, so it shuts on its own. This is definitely the biggest privy. There is a locked uh, door storage thing there. Very nice supply of the compost helper. There's a toilet seat. So yeah, this is, I would agree, this is a very nice, lot, not, a lot of nice amenities, even some decoration, I've never seen that in a privy. And a window, I've seen windows, but this is a decent amount of light. All the shelters on the AT have these like trail journals, so you can just see dates, people write something and sign it with their trail name, so you can, it's a, like, kind of like a social network on the trail, you can see where your friends are and where they're going to be, you can leave messages for each other. There's a long, like, 15-mile stretch of the AT. It's just flat, and it goes through all this Pennsylvania farmland. So you go right along. Corn. Oh, and you can actually see the corn there. That's so cool. There's some corn. Say hello to all the cows on this farm. They're just doing their cow thing. Moo. I saw ponies in Grayson Highlands, but it's the first time I've seen horses, and this is like very, very close to the trail. Here are the friendly horses. There's two little guys just eating. Got some new Darn Tough socks. I'm pumped. Because I, Darn Tough socks, I've used it for most of the trail, the same pair, and they've held up really well. No holes yet, uh, but they're uh, getting really thin. Um, and I know Darn Tough will replace them, uh, if they get a hole, but got to mail it to them and then wait two weeks. So um, I, I got good use out of them. So got got a new pair. I'm excited. All right, my new darn tough socks from got it from the ATC, and they have the AT logo on them and the Maine to Georgia thing right there. And these are my old ones, and I, I probably use these. I would say 1,500 miles, and no holes yet, but they definitely lost their padding in the toes and the heel for sure. Um, so I am super excited to put these on. Toss these. The condensation in my tent, as it rose to the top, it froze into little ice crystals on the top of my rain fly. You can see some up here also. Pretty neat stuff. About to enter Pine Grove Furnace State Park. This is the snack bar in the park, and as you can see, it's dead here um, but F pine grove furnace state park is famous for uh the 
what's it called, the uh, half gallon ice cream challenge where through hikers will try to have a half gallon of ice cream. Um, but you, you get a spoon if like, a commemorative spoon if you do it, but it's like one of those like crappy little wood ones that you get with your little ice cream thing at the, the gas station. So it's not like a fancy thing. Um, and it's $10 for the ice cream. AT Museum. Mm -hmm. Probably closed. Yeah. The kind of halfway marker. That my the total trail now I think is like twenty one ninety in a plus or minus a couple. So that's like an old one. The the halfway point it changes every year because the trail gets rerouted a little bit. But anyway, kind of halfway point, AT Museum, Pine Grove Furnace. Woo New dish today. Mac and cheese and sausage. Now that it's cold out, you can have things that need to be refrigerated like sausage. So I've seen bare boxes, bare cables, but never a bare pole before. So it's just a pole and there's hooks on the top and you take this hook thing, it's like, you know, you, you hold it, it's a big handle, and then you just hoist it up there. It's the first one I've seen in 1800 miles on the AT though. Notice that there's a lot of charred and burned wood and trees in this area. This area is part of a prescribed burn that happened about a month and a half ago. Um, so there's a letter explaining what it's for, but I, it's good. It prevents wildfires. It's good for getting rid of bad species and returning this area to a more natural state that it once was. So very interesting. Looks like these trees were all cut down and, and they look charred. So I don't know. I'd be curious to I'd like to learn more about this. It's neat. This is the 2017 halfway point. Even though it's more like 80% for me, it's halfway. 2189.8 is the official length of 2017. Quarry Gap Shelter, just had to show this one off. Check out how cute this is. Like he puts, the innkeeper puts flowers here. Like everything is just super nice. There's little like, I don't think they're real, but little decorative candles. There are benches and a swing. I think there's even like a garden here. So great job, Jim. This is uh, one of the one of the nicest here. Very well kept after. Wow. Now, out of all the AT that I've seen, I think this right here is the best representation of the Green Tunnel, as it's called, um, because as you can see green tunnel I don't need to explain it um, but yeah most of the trail is not quite like this but you're covered by the leaves and you're in the shade all the time now that it's being winter uh, you have to be careful of sunburn because the Sun will be out Wow looks like that tree ate that sign whatever that was check out this guys just crossing the Mason Dixon line leaving Pennsylvania and entering Maryland Oh yeah, it feels so good to be done with Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania was a long state, I want to say the third longest. I think Virginia is the longest at like 500 something, and Maine is like 280 or something, and then Pennsylvania I think is like 220-ish. Uh, so my review, uh, it was very rocky. A lot of people call it Pennsylvania Rocksylvania. Um, it, there's a lot of like just you gotta watch your step and things are jagged and like out like that. Um, and then uh, some are loose, um, but a lot of it was like ridgeline stuff, so you, it's mostly flat. So if you go into it, if there's a gap or a road, you just go down and go back up. Some people have told me that Pennsylvania was rocky, like just in like a certain part, like the northern two thirds, but I didn't find that. I found like the whole thing was rocky. I mean, there were a few sections, maybe like two or three, where it's like 15 miles, just like flat, smooth, nice, but they were kind of scattered. 